see it goes right about there -ish. Yeah, a little bit. There's my set for the other one. I think that might be enough for this. Okay, I think that might be enough screws to... Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Nice work. I did put glue in there, too, so maybe I should let that dry. Before I... Oh, no, but I got to get some screws in through here and down there. Yeah, I want to do that before the glue dries to close this seam at the bottom. All right. You know, when I did this yesterday, I was mostly just concerned about getting the plywood to even do what I was asking it to do. Now that it's done it, I'm starting to get a little more particular about the shape. And I think I want to move everything forward so that there's more of a flat area back here. Because when someone sits in it, their butt's going to be about here. And I would like their butt to be on a, on a flatter spot. Plus, it'll, it'll add more stability, like the farther this stays at the shallow angle. And I'm pretty sure at this point that the plywood can handle it. If I move all the pieces up a little bit, and then maybe take this last piece. Well, I don't want to take it out. Let me just make another one of those and put it maybe here-ish to keep that, that same flattish part. I don't want to push it too far. I don't want to make the thing crack. I don't know. You know, this is a pretty awesome shape. Wait, let me just... I wonder if I could kill two birds with one stone. Okay, one of the problems with doing a boat like this is that the bottom ends up curving, and at this end, it's curving slightly up. And I don't really want it to curve up a little bit. I'd like it to be straight to go right into the other piece. So to get it to line up with the other piece, I have to like push it down and bend it a little. And you know what? When I do that, it, it forces the middle up and it actually flattens it out a little bit, which is <clears throat> what I was wanting to do anyway. So maybe if I do that, that'll be enough. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I need to put a get a piece in here that matches this when I'm pushing this down. I might even want to pull this in a little bit more. And then, you know what? At the end, when I'm doing the sanding and everything, I can always take off a little bit under here, kind of flatten it out a little. You know, kind of, blah, yeah. Yeah, I think I might do that, actually. All right, side number two, let's do it. I've even got all these things already cut, which is great. Doing pretty much the same thing I did on the first one, except on this one, I've got two braces back here, just to extend the flattened out part a little further. So maybe this will be the, the half where the person puts their butt, then their feet go the other way. Anyway, it won't be much different, and it'll be Okay, great. Ugh. Now what? All right then, how do I know if it's straight? That's good right there. Don't move! 
You know, if I was going to do this again, I would leave some space on the ends of the plywoods so that I could put a piece in there and screw it onto it. But I didn't, and I'm not going to undo it. Wait, I could still. Oh, nah. This will be fine. <clears throat> okay, now the more I tighten those screws, the more it pulls up on the ends of the kayak. collapses that space under. Now I don't want that space under. However, I also don't want the kayaks to go up too much. So let me see how much of that space I can get rid of before I think the kayaks are going up too much. Actually, I think they're pretty much where I want them right now. Okay, now to cut out some next pieces. When I made the paper models, the curve that went here was something I, I made up, and then when I attached it to this piece, it defined the angle in there. But the angle in there is already defined because I've got those things screwed in and glued in. So that means this angle here, or this curve here, is already defined too. So I have to draw the parts from this. All right, and the sidewall pieces, I don't want them vertical. I want them to come out a little bit. So maybe I'll use some leftover ones of these. Yeah, it's probably a pretty good angle. Yeah, I think it's too much. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just go with that. Clamp that on there. I can just draw the line right there. Hmm. This piece here is the leftover from when I cut these. And I can almost use it, but it's not tall enough. So I'm gonna have to get a piece of, this. well, anyway. I'll draw the curve on here just to get the curve. And then I'm gonna check the other side to compare because they should be the same. And if they're not the same, I'll take the average between the two curves and that will be the curve. And that should force these to be the same. There's my line right there. It goes, it goes, it's like a bit of an S. Get this pencil out of my mouth. If I flip it over, I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but it looks like it's pretty much the same curve. I'll have to do some measurements to check. Okay, let's see how I did here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Ha ha. Check the side actually. Cut, stupid, all right. Oh, that looks good. With any luck, this fits both sides. Yep, looks good to me. And I didn't get this to go all the way up to the front because I don't think it needs to. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, now I don't want the, I don't want a flat part on the top of here. I want a curve. I don't know what curve, but some kind of curve. All right, I just bent my ruler and made some curve. Should be fine. Mm, I could put another thing up here. I don't know, it starts getting pretty thin up there. Half looks pretty good. Man, that is not bad. Oh, wow. 
that's a nice mess we got there. Now I'm just trying to get enough of these pieces on top here so that when I put the top plywood on, has something has somewhere to rest. Here. Uh, I guess I should put one at the one at each end. That should be enough. What I may have used with the cardboard, I needed slightly more than two sheets. However, when I started putting together the life-size one, I got a better idea of how, how tall these walls had to be. And they didn't have to be as tall as I made them with the cardboard, which means I may actually have enough. This fits. Yes. Oh. oh, nice. Totally have enough. Oh, that's awesome. Right there. Ooh, that's close. And no space to spare there. And I even have an extra piece left over. This, oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> Alright, just have to put some weights on here and draw the line. Put the other one of these over there. I guarantee someone's going to ask me this question. Why is this piece flat across instead of being like like V'd up or A-framed or rounded. Well, there's a, a really nice feature of having a flat, a, at least going across this way. I don't want it flat that way. I want it to, you know, bow down and come back up. And that's where it's gonna get its strength from because it's gonna be under tension that way. It'll keep its shape. But I want it flat across so that if you put two of these side by side and lay something on top, your kayaks will be stable. So, if you're ever kayaking, out kayaking with a friend, you each have your kayak, say you want to jump out and go swimming, you can take your paddles, lay them across the two kayaks, and then it's super easy to get back into your respective kayaks. <gasps> Isn't that great? And you could even, which I'm sure I will do, attach something to the top of one kayak that attaches to the other kayak and make like a little catamaran. It's just, a, it's just a really nice thing to have because a lot of times I've been kayaking, I shouldn't say a lot of times, but like I've been kayaking with friends in, you know, the standard store-bought kayaks and there's always some point where we're like, you know, it would be really nice if we could just lay something across these and turn it into a little catamaran, even just temporarily while we're, while we're like snorkeling and we want to get in and out, we just want our kayaks to be stable, you know, just... Or even you can, you can kayak them together, you know, actually have something that attaches here. And I'm thinking I may, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to make some kind of attachments here so that you can put a, like, aluminum, aluminum pole across or something like that. And then you can even put a sail up in the middle. How, how sweet is that? Anyway, okay, let's get this sucker in here. Oh, I'm so excited. This looks so good. Ah, I just got to show you. Oh, look at Ah, oh, man. 
Probably doesn't even come out as good on the camera. I'm gonna have a lot of spackling to do, obviously, like all these seams, but you know, all, all these surfaces are nice and smooth. I won't have to do anything to them. And the shape, right now I'm just trying to get the, the excellent shape and I am super happy with this shape. Okay, let's get it. I do still have some input. Better be making a line. All right, now I want to wood filler every seam on the inside. Wood filler being sawdust, which I've got plenty of, and glue. More than that. Not much more. Alright. Nice and messy, but it doesn't matter. As long as it gets in there. Get off. Get in there. No, don't stick to me, stick to that. Okay, there we go. I want to get a lot of material up in the front here. I'm not sure how much I'm going to sand this off when I do the outside. Alright, all wood fillered and spacularized in. That's spectacular! Oh, next I get to put the tops on. Although, I better wait for the glue to dry. Okay. Whoa, this is cold! It is cool. Oh. 